Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hi. I'm very well, very well. I'm fine, very well. I, I, am, I am happy because it, it is Friday today. EGI Fridays. Yeah, Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Yeah. I, I am happy for that. <laughs> I'm glad to hear. Let's just wait for the others. Okay, start the class, guys. You don't need me. You can start talking to each other. <laughs> Say hello to your classmates. A class, Hello. a, a class Hello, man, don't speak. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Evening. Hi, Actually, it's Friday, but I'm so exhausted. Exhausted. I'm tired. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, so remember, first step in the class, say hello to a classmate, at least one classmate, make a conversation. Hello guys, good evening, how are you doing today? Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> Nobody is answered. Nobody wants to answer, come on guys. A ver, todos contesten. Quiero que todos me contesten al mismo tiempo. ¿Por qué se aprenden en inglés? Pero si no yeah. tenés con quién hablar y no, acaso hablas todo el día inglés, que no quieres hablar aquí en la clase. A todos, ¿eh? A todos. ¿Qué onda? Estás aprendiendo inglés porque querés hablar inglés. ¿Y cuándo lo vas a hacer entonces? Vas a llegar avanzado y vas a decir, hoy sí. Una semana para que termine el curso. <risa> Tengo que hablar inglés. <risa> Come on, guys. Dice Will Smith que es un centímetro nada más. Esa decisión de tirarte. ¿Ya vieron ese video? Que dice, o sea, es eso nada más. Arriesgarte. El primer paso es lo único que cuesta. O sea, tirarte. Tirarte del avión porque él se tiró en paracaídas y decía que tenía pavor y que si no se abre el paracaídas y qué va a pasar. ¿Ya? Y se tiró y se moría del miedo. Ya cuando se abre el paracaídas, hey, solo eso se requiere: que lo hagas, aventate. Lo mismo de cuando sos bebé, ¿no? El primer paso. Te vas a caer, hombre, pero te vas a volver a levantar. Así somos los seres humanos. Entonces, Let's do it. Okay. No more Spanish. Um, just let me the ribbons. Let me see. Let me correct that. Okay. There you go. Okay. Please don't forget to full, add your full name and turn on your camera. Make sure okay. we can see we can see your face. <laughs> okay, guys. It's Friday. Let's have fun today. And again, we're here to speak. Okay, Ada, Susana, Cáceres, Mendoza. Good. Alexander de Jesús, Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Carlos Armando Duarte. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Not today. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Good. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Miguel Ángel Paz Landaverde. 
present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Excelente. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. ¿Qué? Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Johnny. Present. Oh, thank you. Okay. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Okay, how many are we? We are 13 on the group. Let's see, 10, I have 12. Someone didn't say present, but anyways, let's start the class. So, let's see. Let's break the ice. Uh, Carolina, I'll say hello to you. Hello. Hello, how is it going? It's going amazing. Today is Friday. I feel energized. I'm very happy. Won't what about work. Won't work tomorrow? Yes, I have to work yeah. at 7 a.m. <laughs> oh, me too, from 8 to, to 12. Really? Well, Saturdays are the worst for me. The worst day because I start at 7. I finish at 12.10 teaching. And then I work from 2.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. Oh my Saturdays. God. Yeah, Saturdays but, are crazy. Mm -hmm. But you are doing your, your job, right? I love this job, not the cool, yeah. center, not the cool center job. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. um, but it is what it is, you know. At least when I'm working on the call center, I can prepare classes or do my thing, you know, um, make some videos and things like that. That's what I do when I'm on the call center because there are no calls you know, on the call center, what oh, I, I work see. for. It's very chill. What about you? What do you do, Carolina? Um, actually, I'm, uh, I'm a system manager. Um, Saturdays, tomorrow is it's a little quiet, calm. I like, I like the Saturdays, especially when when out um, at 12, 12 p.m., but I like my job. Um, it's my first job, actually. Really? Uh, yes. <laughs> and you're a manager assistant. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. Um, um, and I'm I feel and uh, let me let me tell you. Uh, yesterday I had a vacuum vacuum. A vacuum. Back, back team, back, how do you say? How you do had, you had the vaccine? Vacuna? The vaccine? Uh, yes, yes. The COVID uh, vaccine? Yes, yes. Oh. Yesterday. And yesterday I feel good, but now I'm, I'm, I'm having a headache. Um, oh, okay. Uh, yesterday and, I felt good. I felt Yes, I good. felt. And today but you had now, a headache. Uh, okay. I have a, a little fever. A little fever? <laughs> A little yes. fear. Okay. Mm. Have you taken well, any pills? Yes. Um, how do you say acetaminophen in English? Uh, acetamin how do you say acetaminophen in English, guys? In English, um, you say acetaminophen. Doc! <laughs> 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 Tylenol is very popular in, in between Americans. You know, take a Tylenol. They talk about brands just like we do. Like, yeah, we say Pampers. Oh. And it, and that's the brand. I'm not sure how, how to say that in English. Okay. Good job, Carol. 
Yeah, confidence. That's very important. Acetaminophen. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, acetaminophen. But instead of F, is a PH. Acetaminophen. PH. Okay. Yeah, acetaminophen. That's a topic for another day. Vocabulary. Great job. Vocabulary about medicine. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. Okay. That's it. Hmm. That's the That's mm, uh, No. Okay. Good job. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Let's go, guys. Today's topic, we have to start on page 19. What steps do you follow in your everyday work? What happens when an employee doesn't follow procedures? Procedures. What do you do? Um, what, what steps do you follow in your everyday work? Well, let me tell you, um, I'm gonna talk about my call center job. It's easy. Okay, uh, the steps that I follow, don't laugh, okay? But I wake up at 4.50, at 4.50 a.m. every single day from Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday, I wake up at 4.50 a.m. and I start work at five o'clock in the morning. So I have 10 minutes to turn on the computer, load the tools, to load the tools to work, uh, the platform that we use, turn the system and be ready to take calls. But between 5 a.m. and 6.30, let's say 7 a.m. sometimes, there are no calls. So what I do is I bring my pillow and I go like this. I go for one hour, two hours, you know, no calls. And then I start receiving calls that are steps, that are procedures that I need to follow. For example, I can tell you, um, if a customer calls, I just have to listen and first ask for their card number. They give me the card number and I have to verify that I'm talking to the card owner. How do you think I do it? Well, I ask for their mailing address, their full name, and some other details, like how much money is on the account, an approximate amount. If I don't do that, okay, when I don't do that, I get a bad score on quality. If I don't ask for their full name, if I don't ask for how much money is on the card, I get a bad quality score. And if I get too many, like six bad quality scores, bye-bye job, I get fired, okay? As simple as that is procedures. If I don't respect the procedures, I'm let go. I'm let go. Okay. Did you understand? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So what steps do you follow in your everyday work? This is very simple. Remember, procedures, simple, present, first, first second, second, then after first. that. Okay. What happens if you don't follow, if one of your co-workers or you don't follow a procedure, do you get a disciplinary action? Do you understand what is a disciplinary action? No? no? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Good, yeah. good. So let's work on this. Um, it's just two questions. I'm going to split the class to start speaking, okay? Make sure you talk and oh, tell you what. I work as a lawyer. I work as a doctor. I work. As an, as an administrator assistant, um, and I do this, this, and that. If I don't follow these steps, um, I get punished. There you have the questions on the chat. Let's do it. Okay, let's go.
we'll go. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi team. Hi. Okay. Let's start the press procedures. Okay. In my case, um, every morning I have to check my first my internet connection, then turn off my turn on my computer, and then open all the tools that I need to use and verify that they are working well. And then um, I start to receive calls. Yeah, actually, this is in the morning, in the afternoon, it's the same thing. Are you work in a call center? Yeah. I guess that's something like that. <laughs> ah, okay. Like you too, Alan. <laughs> in my case, um, I'm working on a supervisor, right? Uh, okay. At the beginning of the day, um, I uh, well, I check my entrance in the in the main in, with my uh, how can I say the security guard. They gave the 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 chart for uh, put into the clock and. It, Makes a mark in, with your uh, entry hours. mark. You punch in, right? You punch in, yeah. Punch in, and okay. yes. And next, um, I start to check. In my case, I um, do uh, an schedule for thirty-five uh, drivers, truck di truck drivers, and in in different areas like uh delivery concrete uh i'm not sure is that the the word is it's right concrete concrete like uh the same that do the cement, walls cement yeah cement cement cement, cement concrete cement concrete yeah and uh, at the same time i check for the trucks that uh, that delivery corn and all the things and uh, for Arisa, it's a company that delivers uh, process grains and whole grains. And next day, I check the schedules of all the drivers and let's start to do all the, the routes for the present day, right? And well, for example, I, I check three divisions like fuel systems, um, wall grains in concrete or cement and, and the the main uh, stressful operation is in the fuel system like I, I coordinate the fuel of the airports for the planes and it's the main thing that I that I, I have to do a procedure for the the quality of the contain the the how can I say container, but it's like a liquid containers. I don't, I don't what know. What happens? Tank, what tank. happens if the tank uh, doesn't hold this the uh, correct amount? What if you send a container with less amount? All, all the tanks uh, has a a system that can can. Uh, give you a quantity uh, automatic automatic right they has uh, they have uh, a computer that connect to the tank and they give you uh, the the levels in in the terminal and in Nakahutla. the procedure that I follow is like a, this, uh, the tank may be clean and dry because if you transport the fuel for the airplanes. If it's contaminated with water, with water, it will be a failure on the air maybe, or it will be a disaster. Failure right? in, the, in the engine. That's, yes. what, well, that's what happens if you don't follow the procedures. Okay, excellent job, Alan. Yes. Okay, okay. let's see areas of improvement. Um, Alexander, somehow you, you got stuck on this word internet maybe you were trying to force the uh 
the conjunction of the word like internet, internet, or internet. Internet, internet. Okay. Anyway, okay, internet connection, internet connection. I start, I start, I start to receive uh -huh, the t -t sound. I start to receive calls, a calls, mm -mm, calls. And this, this is a buffer, it's not uh, uh, Let's correct that. Um, are, and then uh, Fernando said, are you work in a call center? So are you working in a call center or do you work in do a call you center? Work, do you work? Uh -huh. the, do you work? the auxiliary, right? Okay. I forgot. Then Alan, let's see. I'm working in a supervisor. Hmm. I'm working in a supervisor. Mm -hmm. uh, let's think. I'm working in a supervisor position or I'm working as a supervisor. Uh, I'm working as a supervisor position. Okay. I'm a supervisor. Yeah. This is <laughs> Easier. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I check my entrance. I punch in. Um, I punch, punch in. in at seven. Yeah. For um, me, it's the first time that I use that vocabulary because it's-, it's Awesome. The procedure, it's okay. Perfect, perfect. Okay, areas. Areas. There you go. I check the trucks, the deliveries. You were saying the deliverer. Yeah, the it's deliverer. Deliver. Yeah, yeah delivery, uh, right. I check the trucks that deliver such and such materials, things. Okay. All the times have a system I, that. Uh -huh. I have a, 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 a problem with the, the plurals because I. I use oh, oh, how what how can you say that then uh, old times, old times, mm. uh, that even sounds weird. All the time or always. Um, always I, there's. To, I guess I. Uh, there's always a system. Support there's, me in uh, fuels or the uh, fill in the tanks. Uh huh. There's always a system filling the tanks. Yeah. Support okay. me, okay. Uh, they has, mm, they have, they have, a, they have. <laughs> a computer. Hey, good job. Keep going. And my recommendation always check the video later. Okay, check the video later. It's, see it's yourself. It's embarrassing when you see that. No, oh, that's, that's see, me, your, that's <laughs> see yourself. Watch yourself on the video. Oh, man, I said that. Mm. Yeah, that, that's it. Oh man, I. Uh. That's amazing. What yeah. I say that? I, it's a, it's a that's okay. Don't worry. Don't <laughs> worry. That's the way you're going to learn. Correct yourself. Okay. Jose, Fernando, go. Keep going. Okay. Uh, in, that, in that system. And then uh, I, uh, I, evaluate, I evaluate the, uh, I evaluate uh, the train uh, uh, performance, and then uh, around twelve, I check how, how many dozen uh, production. That's it. How many uh, around twelve, uh, and then I check uh, how dozen um, how how dozen is packing uh, for for exportation to export export sorry to export <laughs> don't worry um i'm sorry i just trying to say that you take you control how, you, you you uh evaluate how many dozens per hour how many dozens no. per hour or? no 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 it is a it, it, Oh, oh, it's a, a, a one a one day. Oh, per day. So yeah, per day. I evaluate the, the the performer the the uh, the, the trainer of the operator. No, uh, the trainer. Trainer. The trainer, the, the trainer is the people. Uh, learn. Lear, uh, sorry, uh, the trainer is the people teach the teacher Just, teach them. Teachers, teachers, uh -huh. uh, the metal, metal of sewing, metal of the costura. Oh, sewing methods, the sewing methods. Okay, so trainers are who are in charge of teaching 
sewage <laughs> procedures. Trainers, yeah. At the, new, at, the new, at the new people and cor cor correct, uh, correct the, the, the process when the people the procedure. The procedure. Uh, sewing. When the people is so is suing. When the people is suing. Yeah. Suing. Okay. And, and finally and finally I check uh, the core in the system uh, because when the people uh, have core is when it's a change product and if is 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 when people is okay the number need uh, per dozen there are a bonus, the production. I can check that. En mis tiempos le llamamos bioral. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Check the formula and everything, check the production line, how many pieces per every two hours an operator was producing. And we yeah. used to set goals uh, for every two hours. I got your point. So you check the curves, the curves, to see how they're performing. If they are performing on goal, that's awesome. That's awesome. What, did, yeah. did, what do you produce? Uh, what, uh, what, what do you produce? Uh -huh. What do you produce? What, what's the product that you manufacture? Uh, a, there, are, there are many, many products because there are t-shirts, boxer, boxers. Uh, oh. There are uh, 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 teacher polo polo teachers That's like this teacher teacher polo yeah polo and teacher polo t t polo teacher teacher normal long uh, sleeve uh, lo the one you have sleeve. long yeah. sleeve long sleeve t shirt uh, uh, in general a uh, 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 bottom and underwear and the general this is the the, the what's production the, what's the name of the company fruit of the loom Oh, fruit of the loom, yeah, yeah, yeah. N nice boxers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Depends. There are there are uh, product. Uh, there are premium. Uh, it's a very very nice. A breathable is, is a is a new technology. Is breathable? Yeah, it's a new product. The uh, technology is so different. Yeah, it's I, a, it's a, yeah. Good. But you don't produce them here for El Salvador, right? It's just to export. Uh, here production uh, only uh, is part. I, I, I here don't don't uh, we, we don't, don't sell it. Sell, yeah, don't sell the production. Only so, export export. It's just yeah, for that's true. Awesome, good. Yeah, nice job. When 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 the, when the uh, people doesn't when the people does for the procedure procedures procedure. Uh, the first, the first time, uh, uh, the the company uh, take a warning. Give some then, warning. You give a warning. Yeah. Are warning. you the one? Are you in charge of the warnings? For me, no. No, you don't. No. You don't give the warnings. Okay, you're no. in charge okay. of the people who gives yeah. the warnings. Got it. Okay. Good, yeah. good, good. Then, then, uh, then three. Then the people how three. Warning is the contractor terminator. Termination. Yeah, uh, you let them go. We let go the people with three no. warnings. Wow. Yeah, that's, wow, that's correct. So I guess you have improvement if improvement uh, plans, right? Plans yeah. of improvement. Okay, look, this is your first warning. So let's work on this together. Um, you're you're not in target on the production. So for next week, we have to work on this plan. Okay. Good. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, do you know about the sandwich technique? S sandwich technique? The sandwich technique? No, no, I don't know. No. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I don't know what is sandwich. <laughs> the sandwich technique is when you give feedback to an employee. You go like, okay, uh -huh. look, you're doing awesome. You're doing really good. Let's work on this i know you can improve this area okay you need to produce two more pieces okay that, that's it it's two more pieces every every two hours and you will be fine okay Good. okay so continue your great job i know you're 
one of the best employees we have. So I don't want to lose you. You can do this. Okay. If you need me, let me know. If you need me, call me. Okay. And we can work around things. Okay. Good. Okay. Great. Then. That's the sandwich technique. <laughs> yeah. Sí. Empezás con algo positivo. Le decís lo negativo sin que se dé cuenta. Y cómo mejorarlo. Y luego volvés con súper bien. Terminás con súper bien. Y el empleado se queda como. Entonces estoy haciendo las cosas bien. Solo tengo que mejorar eso. Ajá. Ok, en lugar de decirle a mí está, ¿qué estuve? Mm -hmm. Right. Be a leader, be a leader, don't be a boss. Okay. Good job, okay. good job, Alvin. Keep going. Okay. Yes, Adita. A question. Uh, the day suspension or día de suspension is warning? Um, Consider it a warning? It's part of, in many companies, it's part of the warning process, yes. Yes, in my case, um, one, two warnings, and then vacation, forced vacation. <laughs> You're let go one day, then you can come back, and yeah, it is part yeah, of yeah, yeah, disciplinary. There, there, there are companies, uh, the first warning is verbal, then is uh, right, running, the opposite. writing. Uh -huh. First writing, second, writing, second writing. Yeah, and then... Uh, so special for day and the septimus yeah and then uh, and then bye bye <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Then it varies it varies in many companies um yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i um get hay una compañía muy famosa en creo que era macintosh salió un libro de macintosh hace unos años y decía que nunca dejaban ir a los empleados no los despedían sí sino que sí. creía, creían en la voluntad de la gente y el que se iba era porque no quería mejorar, nada más ya con problemas de actitud no lidiaban, era lo único con lo que no lidiaban y dejaban que el empleado hiciera todo por mejorar y se le decía en y, 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 japonés eh, so, so is similar the thing en japonés eh, the, the company eh, give present when you uh, don't uh, don't okay the precedent. You don't do okay that, your or procedure. That, or that or that's the precedent. Uh, the company give a present is a for motivation for for the employees. Yeah. It's, it's a similar <laughs> crazy. The it's culture. all the opposite, right? The culture is yeah. very different. Yeah. Totally, totally. Okay, um, Adita, talk about your procedures, or you you talked already. Try to speak. Uh, William stood up. Okay, we're almost done. Okay, I'm just going to check one more group and we move, go back. Okay. Wow, you look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, you mean handsome? No, beautiful. What? Okay. Oh, no, not to me. Okay, I'm sorry. I misunderstood you. Okay, you're done? Ready? Yeah, yeah we were talking yeah. about. Uh, about our jobs and when we we uh, start to to work because no, Justin no. and me we are we are co-workers yeah, yeah. Um, are you uh, working as floor managers now or i mean floor workers or level two or how do you call it are you still taking calls both no i just taking calls Isela. It's a TL in progress. A TL in progress? Yes. Awesome. Yes, Good job. Terrible. Good job. <laughs> terrible? I know. Yeah, I never mm. liked it. I never liked it to be a TL. Really? It's too much job, too much responsibility. But um, it's more money. <laughs> there's better money out there. And you should you should think about it. I'm not I'm, I'm telling you to quit. Okay, it's a great job, but don't settle your roots. Don't settle your roots, thinking that you will be um, getting retired from a call center. Yeah. yeah, you should continue studying, and who knows, an opportunity may come around. But yeah, yeah as an experience to manage people, it's a good job. If it is your first time managing people. Okay, so good job. 
Thank you. Okay, let's skip it up. Let's go. Okay, good. You get excited, right? When you talk about your job, it's like, wow, man, <laughs> I do this and this and this. And that. A lot of things every day, procedures. You follow procedures every day and you don't even notice, right? You're so used to following procedures that you time, time, from time to time to you forget them. Okay, so let's move on. Let's go with something easier or a volunteer who wants to share their everyday work procedures, things that you do every day. Okay. Me, Sandra. Good, Sandra, tell us. Okay. When I get to my office, I must uh, disinfect my computer my chair, my desk. Um, they are to my computer, uh, review uh, emails, and review reports the teachers. Um, uh, uh, review uh, homework, uh, no, uh, review image the uh, students. I have to the report of the teacher. If the report are good, they are approved uh, and they are sent to the boss. In case the report are bad, they are returned to teachers to prepare it again and send it. And send it back. And send it back, okay. And send it, okay. Where do you work? University. Oh, at, in a university, okay. Okay, Univo? Francisco Gaviria. Oh, really? Yes. I, I started there. Long, long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I have good memories. Okay, let's see, Sandrita. Um, sanitize. Instead of disinfect, let's say uh, sanitize. I sanitize my work area. Repeat. I sanitize my work area. I sanitize oh, with my work area. Mm -hmm. We lost her. Yes, we lost her. Well, yep. Internet connection. There we go. We got you. Okay. Um, can you hear me, Sandra? Sandra, hello. No, she's having problems with the internet. Can you hear us, Sandra? No. Hello. Yes, we can hear you now. Okay, Sandrita. Okay, I can hear you, Sandra. So again, turn on my PC. Okay, um, we tend to say, uh, then I turn my PC. Oh, no. mm -hmm. Turn on my PC. Um, and this is a muletia. This is a buffer, a buffer word. The, the emails, the students, emails of students, emails of students reports of the teachers, reports from teachers, reports of the teachers. Good, good, Sandra. Check on that. Okay, let's continue, guys. Now, as the next point, we have a conversation. Yay! Now, this is very easy for you guys. In this class, we have to describe the steps of a procedure. And again, it's procedure, procedure, procedure. Uh -huh. procedure. procedure. Good job. Okay, 
this is a very short um, role play, a short lecturing. Listen, sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in, I repeat, and put it in the register. Put it in, put it in, put it in. Put it in. Okay, it in. as you may know, there's a T in the middle of two vowels. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like da, 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 da. put it in, put it in. Put it. Put okay, in. put it in the register. Repeat, put it in the register. Put, put it, it in the register. register. Put, put it, it in the register. register. You got it? Or, it uh -huh. or you slide the card through the card reader. The card reader. Reader. Uh, then, reader. reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs, be careful, it's not seeing, this is signs, the receipt, mm. signs the receipt, and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. More, more, even names in English are difficult sometimes. Mr. Moore, or Mr. Moore, more, more, okay? So, Um, quiero aprovechar un minuto para decirles algo si nadie se los ha dicho aún. En inglés no existe la R. Ok. No existe la R en inglés. Ok. Existe la R. R. Register. Car. Car. Rock. Rock. Sí. So, um, si la R está al principio de una palabra, tu boca siempre va a ser una U. Tu lengua se va a enrollar hasta atrás. Ok. Y lo haciendo conmigo. U. Luego enrollas la lengua hacia atrás. O, y mientras que soltas la lengua, mientras desenrollas la lengua, pronuncias la R. Ok. So, like rock. Rock. Ok. Root. Y eso se vuelve más complejo cuando hay una R blended, una R mezclada. ¿Cómo así? Ok, an R blended. Eso pasa cuando está, por ejemplo, antes una W. And you say right, right. Ok, you say uh, drive, drive, drive. You see, drive. Y así vas. Cada vez que hay una R, la lengua se te va a enrollar un poco, ¿ok? A veces es cuando está al final la R y por eso la palabra later. <ríe> Todo el mundo trata de decir later para evitar sonar la R varias veces. Later. Later. See you later. See you later, alligator. Alligator. ¿Ok? Car. Car. Y así vas. ¿Ok? Practice makes perfect. Don't forget, and that's very useful. Okay, so I need two volunteers. Say me and your name, like me, Carolina, me, Elvin, me, Jocelyn, me, Alexander. Okay, two volunteers. Me, me Alexander. Carla. <laughs> I heard Carla and Alexander. Alexander. Mm, okay, go ahead. You're Javier, Alexander. Let's see, Carla. One, two, three, action. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register of you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Good. 
<laughs> Good job. Options. Repeat, Carlita. Options. Options. Good. Better. Through. 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 Like. Or. Uh, or. or... <laughs> I can't <write> like this. <laughs> no, you say through. Okay, easy. <laughs> through. That's it. Through. There you go. Through. 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 Okay. Very good. Okay. And next. Who said me? Who said me? Me, Fernando. Me, Fernando. And me, Carolina. Okay, one, two, three, action. Uh, sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or just slide the card through the card reader. Then the register print the receipt and you give back give back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you get a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Easy, this is very simple, great job. Just don't forget the final sounds cut on print. The register prints the receipt. Prints. Okay. Prints. Uh, <laughs> prints. 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 There you go. Excellent. Okay. Let's get together just for 10 minutes. Not too much. I repeat. The key is repeat, 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 repeat. Okay. Don't stay. Oh, we did it already. And how's the family? Oh, he's doing great. Great. Okay, do it again, change roles, okay? Every conversation, do it as many times as you can. Okay, we are 16. Teacher. Hey. How do you say receive? Received, received, received. Okay. Go ahead. Received. Okay. William, William do it. Receive. <laughs> That's better. Receive. You got it. Okay. Practice. Go ahead. Let's go. It's page 19. Okay, now. 19. Now. You missed it. You missed it. Go up. Jose, 19, move up. 19. You're in page 24. Got it. I got it. Were you not? 25. Keep going. Up, up, up. Okay, sir. Okay. I forgot how to process a payment. Yep. All right. There. You give yep. you give the option to. Uh-huh. Go, go. <laughs> and Sorry, <laughs> you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the, the, the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register print the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep and copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. 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 Okay. Uh, Antonio. Okay. Sir, <laughs> I forgot how to process a payment. 
repeat. Uh, sir, sir, I forgot how to process a payment. I write first. Do you give the option to pay in cash or credit card? After that, take the payment and put it in the re register or do a slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sends the receipt and you keep a copy. Receipt. You, Mr. Receipt. Receipt. Uh -huh. The receipt is not recipe, is receipt. The receipt. Okay. The receipt. You got it. Okay. Now you are Javier. <laughs> Sound that you are Javier. Okay. Hello. Hello. Sorry. Um, I was looking for the the image of the, of page, the yeah it's page 19 but I, I i don't have the the book could you share the the image right now and then we can start to to read sure. and i'm going sure. to take out on the screenshot okay one second okay let me check i think that that miguel already sent me the the information. Just let me. Let me see that. Um, okay, I want to share it right now. Okay. Is Ada here? Yeah. Okay. Ada? Your Ada? microphone. <laughs> Let's go back. I already saw. Sorry. It's okay, don't worry. Okay, uh, let's do it again. Let's change okay. couples. Let's rotate, okay? okay. You sure. Hey. The last uh, sentences, you can, you can say keep a copy or keep a copy. Yeah. Keep a copy. Perfect. Okay. Keep a copy of the receipt. Okay. Keep a copy, let's see, and you keep a copy. Yeah, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Keep a copy, perfect. Okay. Teacher, and this word, what is the correct pronunciation? Reader or writer? Reader or reader? Reader. Yeah, uh, reader. Oh, like the, car, like re the car reader, the car reader. Reader, reader. reader. Mm -hmm. reader. Okay. The car reader. Good, let's change couples, let's go. Thank you. Por favor, chicos, enciendan sus cámaras, dejen que lo vean, participen. Let's go. Okay. Who do it with me? Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank okay. you, Mr. Moore. Change. 
Uh, sure, I forgot how to process a payment. All right, fear. You give the option to pay in cash on credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register on your slide the card throw. The card reader, then the register prints the receipt and you give 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 it give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep the copy. Thank Here you, Mr. Moore. Ada. Here, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the, re the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Change. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. You give me the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in, in the register or do a slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give me back to the customer. Finally, the customer sees the receipt and you keep a copy. Okay. Thank uh, you, Mr. Bo. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, repeat through. 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 Okay. Through. And you slide the card through the card reader. You slide the card through the card reader. And the register like points the okay to the customer. Finally, the customer signs. Okay, so we say card through through, and then the word signs. And that signs. Signs. Mm -hmm. It's not things. Uh, signs. Signs. Very good. The card through. 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 Okay. Like Z R U. That's right. Through through there you go through that's what we're saying through okay one last time and we're done okay sir i forgot how to process a payment all right First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Uh, sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you click the... Recording progress. <laughs> it's traumatic. I know. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, I was reading a communication. Note. Okay, let's do the attendance one more time. It is 9.01. We're going with the agenda. This is good. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. So her somewhere. Carlos Armando Duarte. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. 
Present teacher. Elvin Arcides Aguizabal Martinez. Present. Thank you. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Miriam Carolina. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Está trabajando. Por ahí lo vi. Ok, Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Grisuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Not here today. Ok. Um, solía pasarles esto los viernes. Es como algo común. Mm. Yeah, it's very common. And most of all, when there's a payment, a payment day, right? A payroll day. Recently, it was payment day on the 15th. So, yep. It's Friday, right? Una tristeza ver cómo muchas personas ganan el mínimo en El Salvador y aún así se van de parranda. No sé cómo hacen, la verdad. Honestly. Let's keep working. Un anuncio más, perdón. Um, el lunes es, se termina nuestra segunda semana, ¿sí? ¿Sí? Yes. ¿Qué, ¿Qué pasa cuando llegas a la segunda semana de, de un módulo? Midterm. Midterm. You have a midterm, right? Para los que es primera vez que están, eh, si hay alguno acá, pues, y los que vean el video después, eh, es necesario hacer el midterm. Vamos a tardar el lunes. ¿verdad? Si lo pueden hacer el fin de semana, mucho que mejor, chicos. Ponerse al día hasta el midterm tiene que estar terminada la plataforma. Ok, si tienen alguna duda, me escriben y con gusto voy a hacer tiempo para corregir eso. Saben, yo los sábados en la tarde, como les comentaba anteriormente con Carolina, trabajo en lo que soy en el call center, estoy trabajando notas, calificando otras cosas, otros cursos que tengo, desarrollando clases con la laptop, ya que estoy en, este, en la computadora trabajando eh, en el call center. So, buzos, eh, pues tengo desde las dos y media hasta las diez de la noche prácticamente para estar trabajando con ustedes en lo que estoy trabajando en otra cosa, right? So, ese es como el día que más le dedico tiempo a, a otras cosas también. Ok. Let's continue. I just check the lesson. So it is nine o'clock. State a process. Answering questions. Ok. Adverse of transition. We missed one little thing here. Yep. Okay, so let's work on the exercise number three on your page 19. Okay, we have two more questions to answer on your book. Okay, what steps does manager Moore give Javier to process a payment? Who can give me the answer? What, what are the steps to process a payment? First, you get the option to pay in cash or credit card. Mm -hmm. After that, he mentioned to take the payment and put it in the register or the slide the card. Then the register prints the receipt and you provide to the customer. And finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. You keep a copy. Excellent signs. Signs. Final sounds. Final sounds. Remember, very good. 
Second question. What words does the manager more use to order the sequence of events? I repeat, what words does the manager more use to order the sequence of events? Of events. Mm -hmm. First. Yeah. Okay. During 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 yeah. bold during bold letters, right? Bold letters, bold letters. So how do you know these words, guys? Do you know these words? First, after that, then finally. How do you call them? Linking words. Linking words. Okay. How else? A synonym for linking words. Connection words. Connectors. Connectors. Yes. And in this case, in this case, in this class, we're going to call them um, adverbs and transition expressions. Trans transition expressions. Okay. That's the way that the book called them. And it's okay. What other words do you know? What other words do you know other than first? By the way, it is first. 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 The last resource I like to use, but I, I don't I don't want to hear that word saying first anymore. Okay. So you say first. He is very important. Got it? First. 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 Oh. First. 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 Okay. Bueno, quiero que me te fijes en mis labios y sigas paso a paso tú solito, ¿eh? eh si no te lo aprendiste ahorita, ves el video después. Ya les dije varias veces. Véanse ustedes mismos en el video. Por ahí me decían, no, teacher, es que da vergüenza. Ey, está, sos tú mismo. Si te da vergüenza tú mismo, no te quieres. Embarrass, embarrass it's yourself. embarrassing. It's embarrassing. I know, but try it. Okay, look. This word is composed by three, four sounds. Listen, first sound. Second sound. Third sound. Again. Okay, so you say first. It's not an I, it's an E. First. First. Let's use some words with this. First of all, first of all, first of all. First of all, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Firstly, firstly, in order to do this, you have to. First. Got it? First. Okay. Got it. Next word, after, after. Every time you see an F, you have to blow air. After, after. after. There you go. After, after, after. 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 Okay, there you go. Good job. Okay, let's keep it up. Let's keep going. Okay, now we have to think. Every time you see this guy here, okay, it's because we have to think, okay? In pairs, we have to answer this. Do you ever meet difficult customers? <laughs> All the time. Isela, Jocelyn. Yeah. Do you ever meet difficult customers? Every single day. <laughs> Don't tell me, every single day. I mean, what's a difficult Since the customer? First call. Really? Was it Rude a difficult customer. call? Rude customers? Sometimes. Angry? The, uh, the Peruvian customers and Colombian and San Dominicans. Really? Latin people being rude? Yeah. That's, that's new for me. No, okay. Believe me, they are more rude than the, than the American people. What do you do when you have a difficult mm -hmm. customer? I don't have it. I don't take it personal. I just said, uh, okay, 
So sorry, I apologize. I try to be very patient because let for them. my quality, you know. <laughs> yeah, you let them vent. You let them yes. vent. Yeah. Just breathe. <laughs> and you let them know the warnings because it's a lie. Yes. I ne you know what? In 12 work. years, in 12 years, I never use warnings. I never go like, man, sir, if you keep continue using profane, profane language, I'm going to have to disconnect the call. That's my first warning. Yeah. I never, I have never done that. Never. Because, that count. Uh, <laughs> and, and, why, and why is the reason? It is because you don't want to do it or, or you have not received any call with upset customers? You know what was my best call? Two hours with a redneck. Two hours with a redneck trying to change his password on the airline's website. Sir, uh, what would you like to be the, the password or the username on your, on your account? It's gonna be US Airways, the airline. F US Airways. I was like, okay, I'm sorry. That's already taken. Of course it's already taken. Add a number two at the end. That's already taken too. Oh, come on. Two hours, two hours. And my pace, not a problem. Don't worry, I'm here to help you. We're gonna solve this. Give me a different password. Okay, password. So we have the user, yes. Okay, what's gonna be your password? F, US Airways, the airline, okay. Um, that's not working, sir. Of course it's not working. <laughs> Two hours. You know what happened at the end? He was like, I want to thank you. No. He, uh, he thanked me. I, I can't believe I've been with you two hours and I have been throwing at you and you have been always very calm. So every time, after that call, every time he called me, you know, he called me. He, he was like, hey, is Rafael there? Oh, Rafael what? Rodriguez. Rodriguez. I need to talk to him. Okay. Every time he used to call for me. It's been the story of my life. And that's because I never get angry, guys. In real life, I never get angry. It's just somebody on the phone. I mean, be empathetic. Yeah. The, Don't take it personal. The same. <laughs> The same happened to me, but but this customer was trying also to reset password, and he was not able to create a, a password for ten digits. And at the end, he told me, uh, he asked me, "What is your your name again?" And I said, "Isela." Okay, I'm going to add Isela and letter B, and you know what? Okay. And uh, and the customer was able to change the password with my name. And with and that, that word. bad word, oh my god, yeah, yeah, crazy Come things on. happen. Imagine me with people calling, hey, you know what? Very calm. This now, in my experience, when you get someone very calm, very cool with a stream situation, oh, that's a call, that's a real call. For example, um, hey, you know what? Somebody's stolen money from my credit, from my card, from my debit card. And this is the number. Get the number forty thousand dollars gone, swept, no more money. And the guy is like, Okay, so what are we gonna do about it? I'm like, Okay, sir, don't worry, we're gonna take care of it. And da -da 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 -da. give me your supervisor, please. And I have to go, like, Don't worry, we're gonna solve it. This is the procedure. My supervisor is gonna tell you the same. Are you sure you want to talk to him? You promised me you're going to fix this? Hardly ever. A customer asked me for a supervisor. Yeah. Hardly ever. Yeah. And if they do, I mean, you de-escalate, you go home, you know. It's just a conversation. Find Sorry, ways. Sir. I'm the Find supervisor. <laughs> no, no, no. You cannot lie. Remember? Unfortunately, you <laughs> cannot say a lie. But just describe the process. Describe the process. Lying. Oh, really? Well, in that case, good. Good for you. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. So difficult customers, choose one of the situations below and list and describe five steps that you could use to deal with that difficult customer. This is gonna be so awesome. Then present your process to the class. So 
Look at the situations. I like this. Customer is angry. Can somebody help me? Um, Isela, go with number one. Alexander, number two. Elvin, number three. Let's go with Jocelyn, number four. Uh, Miguel, number five. One, two, three, go. A customer is angry because he thought it was not delivery on time. He pulled, I'm sorry. Was not delivered on time. Delivered on time. Okay, that's the first situation. He's angry because his food was not delivered on time. Alexander. A customer is very aggressive to one of your employers. Oh, employees. employees. Uh -huh. The stress is an ease. Aggressive, aggressive to one of your employees. Aggressive. To one of your employees. Okay, Elvin. A customer uh, say he pounds a topic in this food and that he will not pay for the food. Toothpick. Toothpick. Mondadiente. Okay. One more time, Elvin. A customer says. A customer he, says. He found. He found. Toothpick. A toothpick. In his food and that he will not pay for the food. In his food and then he will not uh, pay, uh, pay for the food. 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 There you go. Food. Jocelyn, a customer is calling. A customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. Upset. Justin? Excuse me? Upset. 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 There you go. Upset. 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 There you go. You got yes. it. Number five, Miguel. Yes. A group of customers are getting upset. Because the cashier is too slow. One more Cost time. A group of customers. A group of customers. Are getting upset. Are getting upset. Because the cashier is too slow. Because the cashier is too slow. Good. En la medida en la que ustedes se quiten eso de detenerse, la mayoría ya lo logró. Miguel lo acaba de solucionar también. Ok. Linking words, okay, is too small or is too small? Mm, be careful, too small, too small, too small, too small. It's too slow, sorry, it's too slow, it's too slow. It's too slow, it's too slow, it's too slow. So practice and repeat that a lot. So I'm gonna split you one more time. You have to create solutions for each scenario, okay? Solutions for each scenario oh but you have to choose one of the situations just choose one of the situations and list and describe five steps five steps oh let's do one together let's do one together which one let's be democratic go to your chat in zoom go to your chat in zoom and write the number that we shall use as an example right now. One, two, three, four, or five. Which one shall we use? Two, Jocelyn says two. Very yes. aggressive to one of your employees. Two, Fernando, Johnny says one. Carla says two, William says one. So I have three, three, three twos and two ones. Fatima says one. Four, four, okay, five, okay, number two is the winner. <laughs> I have like seven, okay, good job, good job. Okay, seven people said number two. A customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. Describe five steps that you could use to deal with that difficult customer. Now, what do we do? Let's define first aggressive. What do you understand by aggressive? Rude. 
Rude. A person who, a person who use uh, um, Bad words. By, use violence and to another. He is this close. He is this close to hit one of your employees. Hmm. He's this close to hit your employee. You're the manager. So how do you, keep an eye, approach, how do you approach that customer? Five steps. First. Listen the last, listen the last method. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Let's think about this. He's being aggressive against one of your employees. Can you listen, apologize, solve, and thank or terminate or... Yeah. Can you do that with an aggressive customer? You, you cannot say it. Please calm down because the customer is not going to do do that. So I don't know. <laughs> hmm. um, yeah, because you you need to first listen to the customer. What is the problem? Okay. Yeah, the reason why the he is angry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ask the reason why he he is mad. And try to understand. And after to to listen the customer, try to give a solution. Hey, Isela. And after listening to the customer, sounds better. I'm sorry. After listening to the customer. After listening. Yeah. After, I missed the. Yeah, you ID. said to listen. No, you said after okay. to listen. After uh, listening. After, after mm -hmm. listening the customer. Mm -hmm. I think that at this point, maybe you can use the um, the part of please count down. Oh no, you never say that. See what I can do for you. Don't never ask, never <laughs> ask a, a customer to calm down. Okay, uh, listen. The first thing I used to do as a supervisor was like go, okay, my name is Rafael. I'm going to help you right now. Okay, I'm here to help you. So I'm all ears. Tell me, what seems to be the problem? I'm gonna give you a solution right now. Okay, so go ahead. I'm all ears. Okay. Yeah. She starts using profanity. Okay. Okay. I just let him go. Continue venting. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Apolo apologize, sir. I'm really sorry if somebody made a mistake on your order or something else happened, whatever is the case, let me solve the situation, okay? So you said this, this, and that, to paraphrase, okay? I'm gonna do this first, correct the order. I'm going to offer you a credit, whatever I have to do to solve the situation. Again, we're really sorry, let's fix this, okay? We don't want to lose your business. You're very valuable for our business, so, Let's fix it, okay? I just did it. I just correct the problem. Is there anything else that I can do for you? Oh, you did? You solve it? Yeah, that's it? Okay, well, thank you. Their mood changed drastically. El, el estado de ánimo de una persona cambia en base a tu tono de voz. Si tú estás calm, ¿por qué te va a gritar? Si ya te gritó y te dijo y te mencionó a tu mamá mil veces, si tú no le salís así y le salís con un pace, you know, how do you say pace in Spanish? Pace? Uh, yeah. The, um, to, no. to tono de voz. No. Sigue siendo el mismo. No te alteras, ni gritas, ni sonas triste, ni temeroso, sino que seguro de lo que estás diciendo. Es el paso, como el paso de... Pace, pace. El paso de la voz. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Your pace. <laughs> No, fijo, es fijo, es el mismo pace, puede ser, fijo, ah, puedes, puedes estar gritando, pero seguir gritando durante todo lo, lo que estás diciendo, ese es el pace, high pace, low pace, está muy bajo, okay, standard pace, just keep it here, in the middle, okay, so let's describe five steps, really quick, number one, or first step, listen, listen, listen to the problem, okay, he's aggressive, number two, apologize, 
Okay, okay the then, so first you listen, then you apologize for the inconvenience, okay? After that, connectors, after that. Offer a solution. Offer a solution, or what about options for options. a solution, could be, uh-huh. Solve the problem. Solve the problem, yep. Even that's it thank <laughs> thank thank the customer don't say thanks say thank the customer thanks. thank the customer okay for being a loyal customer aunque sea paja aunque sea mentira que es un buen cliente una vez haya gastado cinco dólares okay if you don't care it's a customer remember one rotten apple ruins the whole tree got it one rotten apple ruins the whole tree and it's true Okay, so let's do this together. And now you go with the other four, okay? The other four situations. Please discuss with your classmates and then present your five steps to the whole class, okay? This is page 19. Uh-huh. Like a uh -huh. role play. No, you have to list five steps to follow. What steps will you follow on okay. each situation? What can you do in this case? Okay, think about okay. it. Choose one of the options. The customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. Okay, he found a toothpick in his food. Upset because he received the wrong delivery order. And a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. Okay, think about it least the five options you have. Okay, let's go. Okay, um, Rina and Elvin, right? Yeah. Yes. That's correct. <laughs> okay. Um, can you can you explain me again, please, Rina or Elvin? Uh, sorry, I I I I went to the bathroom when teachers play the activity. <laughs> I was explaining the activity. Okay. We gave an example. Okay. Number one, Sorry. it's okay, don't worry. Number one, choose one of the situations below. You have one, two, three, four, five situations. Choose one of them. Number two, list and describe five steps you could use to deal with a difficult customer. Let's get a listado de cinco pasos first, then yeah. after that, to start connectors with that difficult customer. How do you deal with a difficult customer? Como lidias con un cliente difícil. Okay, and then present your process to the class. Okay. Okay. For, for example, two two activity the the number uh, two. Steps. I I I approach uh, uh, to the clan. Uh, and uh, I tell them, uh, I tell them that their attitude is not correct. Uh, if that continuing, I call the security, for example, and then it continues. Okay. Yeah. So that will be the procedure. Yes. Yeah. First step: yeah. approach the customer. Tell them that if they don't calm down, if he doesn't calm down. I'm gonna call security. Yeah. Okay. That's correct. What do you think, exactly. Claudia? Rina? Okay. Um what do you pref what do you prefer, Rina? Now um, you have to agree. You have to agree into one of the situations. The three of you, one situation. Got it? Es una, es una sola situación para el grupo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going. Okay. 
Okay, uh, LV, you want to prefer for one, two, and three, four, five. The mask. Uh, and the order when, when he, uh, when he take uh, another customer, uh, it's a yeah, problem. Yeah, you have to. Right? The problem uh -huh. so, is if was the problem who registered the order or is uh, yeah. the problem maybe the problem has uh, who delivered the food Entonces, in first step the first step identify what was the, the, the problem the wrong the wrong After that, we have to identify, identify, identify the right order, the right order, order. Okay. After deliver the right food. Identify order. And then after that because the problem is the time because it's been time more time the customer will be more angry about that i guess and the new okay i give to the lower time. That would be a. Uh... Okay, I am writing the chat. Follow guys saying. Hey, Mr. Yes, 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 Mr. Okay, the second process we can we can offer a discount, right, Fatima? In discount. Discount. discount, 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 a discount for the delay. And you mentioned Jose, Jose to to provide the palitroques for free. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The, provide the, the share for free. Dessert. Can I answer incorrectly? Dessert. 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 Perfect. Dessert. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Okay, there is another idea. We can add. I, I don't have an idea. <laughs> okay. Think about it. Okay. Just have the option that we can provide. I apologize to the because that traffic was terrible. We can offer a discount for the delay, provide a dessert for free. Ready? Uh, yes, I guess yes. we are ready. Okay. okay, what time is it? Okay, give me just four more minutes. Try to develop more your ideas before we come back. Okay. Good. Thank you. But at the end, we are giving to the customers to uh, to to dish dishes or to okay yeah to kind of food. 
I think yeah, we can me, offer a send. We can offer to send. Offer, to, offer send to send the, the correct. Uh, the right, the right ditch without charging the liver. Dish. Without dish, without charging a deliver. A delivery deliver. fee without charging the delivery fee. Delivery fee. Yeah. This is this is going to be like an option. And we can Another say option and is, we can say order or order, order, order. Order. What is the, the correct pronunciation? Order. 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 What's the order. 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 Mm -hmm. order. New world order. Yes. Order. Okay. Order. So I think that we already have four steps or we are missing one more. Yeah, five steps. Five you think steps. is there, is it possible? No, actually. Okay, we Okay, okay, so we, what's the, we okay. have the first one. The first one? Yeah. The customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. Okay, delivered on time. Okay, well, we have to consider. Oh, no, it's food. No, we, we select, I'm sorry. We, four, we, select, to, we select the. Selected. The number four. Select, we select, so we selected, selected number four. We selected number four. A customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. Oh, I'm really sorry if that's not what you ordered. Um, so we have to consider, right? How long did, yeah, it, so... how long did it take for you to receive the order? Uh, it was delivered within an hour. Okay, good. But it's the wrong item, right? So let me send another order first option now let's think about the escalation process Isela. thinking about the company the least expensive solution will be to offer a discount hey you know what that's not the product you wanted right but it's very similar it's just a different color or it's definitely not what you wanted do you need the product? I can offer it to you with a 50% discount. You can keep it and I will just give you back 50% of what you paid. What do you think? What do you say? Um, oh, okay. Do I need this? <laughs> okay. And what about my order? The 50% that I'm giving you, you can use it and just pay the difference for the other product. Mm. <laughs> you see what I'm doing? Yeah. And two products. <laughs> he wanted one only. We are trying to send to to sell two other two odd orders. Place to work two items. I mean that's crazy, but it works sometimes if they yeah. have money. If they have money, I mean, if you're if you're smart and you can read people, you will say, mm, "This guy has money. He's always ordering." Mm -hmm. Okay. Good option. Uh, oh. No, nah, that doesn't work for me. I want what I ordered. Not a problem. Let me send you a new product and we will pick up the old one, okay? Yeah, uh, pick it back. Take it back. Thank you. Number two, what else did you think about? No? Uh, okay. Yeah, discount. Yeah, actually, when, and when I take soap calls, we, we do the same. We we offer to the customer to, if the, the transaction is, is delayed, we offer to the customer to wait for that transaction and we are going to give the, the fee for the next one. And at the end, the customer to, to receive a, a fee, they send a new transaction. So at the end we have two transactions that the customer is sending. Okay. So it works, yeah. It works, good job. Okay, be careful with the preposition to Isela. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, don't say sorry. Just keep in, keep that in mind. And, and where where I use that? I just forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I heard you saying that. I hear you a lot saying to try to use gerunds instead, if possible. Think about it. it. Will make you sound more pro. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. Good. Good. Let's keep going. Okay. So the flu medicine. Flu flu. Okay. Yeah, I need. I ah. Ah. Nosotros estábamos en la clase general. No, no agar. It's mute, teacher. Go on, yeah, man. keep going, keep going. Yeah, you you didn't join the the group, Miguel and Ada, but it's okay. You were talking, I, right? I'm sorry, teacher. In my case, I have a problem with my computer, and Sandra, it's saying with me because I I have in the in the group number two, but I alone. I'm be alone. I was alone. Yeah, I was alone in group number two. Okay, don't worry. Good. That's it. Who wants to go first? Who wants to go first? Who remember this? Do you remember this? Come on, let's see. Let's see. Ferruccio, Ferruccio. Come on, let's go. Who's that? Who is that? Come on. You don't get movie <laughs> references? No. Okay. No, I'm sorry. Maria, la llave. No? No. La vida es bella. Oh my God, la vida es bella. Ah, you Rucho. have to say, you, ha, you have to say, buongiorno, principessa. Buongiorno, oh. principessa. Yes. Amazing movie. It's a great movie. I, I'm giving you a movie for the weekend. I only saw it once. You, you saw it? You watched it once? You watched it, watched it, watched it, watched, watched it, it watched it, watched it, watched it. Last weekend I was teaching that uh, linking sounds. Watched it, watched it. I worked it. Okay, let's see. Uh huh. An example. Who did number three? Number three, a customer says he found a toothpick in his food and that he will not pay for the food. How do you approach this upset customer? Nobody? Nobody? Okay, let me go with option number one. A customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. We chose. We chose? You chosen that? Yeah. Okay. We chose. We chose it. Okay, what okay, are your well, five steps? Go ahead. Okay, well, uh, first, we, we apologize and explain to the customer that the traffic was terrible. So for that reason, we cannot deliver the order on time. The second one, we can offer a discount for the delay and provide a dessert for free. Just we select three steps. We just selected, repeat, we just selected three we just steps. Selected three steps. In this yes. case, we just thought about, repeat, Justin, we just thought about three steps. We just, talk, we just thought about three steps. Three steps, three steps. One more time. We just thought about three steps. We just thought about three steps. We just talked about three steps. Oh, close. Thought, thought about. Everybody pay attention. About. Thought about. Mm -hmm. Thought about. Thought about. We mm -hmm. just thought about just three steps. Step. Great. Okay. It's okay. We just thought about three steps. Okay. Area of improvement in these steps. I will tell you. Uh, if, if I am a customer and I'm very angry, it never happened, but if I'm very angry and they give me excuses like the traffic, oh my God, that happened. Yeah. That, you know, that happened once when I worked at Cognizant, we ordered like 10 pizzas and the pizzas had wings, chicken wings as well from Domino's. They were like in offer. Man, we waited three hours. Three hours for a delivery. You but know what? Was, that was enough. <laughs> but in this case, just maybe five minutes. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm telling that you what, what what happened to me last year. No, when was it? 2016, I think, or 2015. But the, what the funny thing is that after three hours, the supervisor at uh, Domino said, "Oh, it's free. Ten pizzas, everything is free. Don't worry, it's on the house." 
when the guys gets there, the guy got to the job. He delivered the pizzas and left. He was upset, the delivery guy, because he didn't deliver on time. I mean, three hours on traffic. Mm, guess what? The chicken wings were the chicken wings were bitten. He ate the chicken wings. The chicken wings. I'm sorry. We were like, what the? What happened? Right. Anyways, free food. Okay. Good. Did you eat them? Not the ones that. Yeah. No, not the chicken wings. Uh, okay. the, the pizza was okay. Okay. Uh huh. Teacher, teacher sorry. Is the, the, for pandemia, is is very usually the drugstore or the pharmacy is very usually three, four hours hours delivery. Yes, that's very usual. It's very common. You know, the cliente, you know, que ver atención al cliente, salían agresivos. My God, poor people. I mean, be empathetic. Ese es mi mayor problema en la vida. Siempre soy demasiado empático con todo el mundo, hasta con quien no debo. Ya iba a decir un nombre, pero no. Ok, un nombre de político iba a decir. Hasta con ellos, imagínense. Le digo yo, son seres humanos al final. Vea. No, it's wrong. It's not okay. Ok, Jocelyn, choose one of your classmates. Um, ok. Let me see, Fernando. Hi. <laughs> uh, in my group, which is the, the first, the first, um, the, the steps that we, we, we do are uh, first, uh, uh, say sorry to the customer. <laughs> And then uh, uh, hear the customer, hear the customer, what was the problem? And uh, that is uh, the, not the different type, but he possibly uh, has uh, more complaints. So we hear and when uh, the customer finish, uh, give uh, a list of options for for uh, for the client, so we he he can choose uh, the option that with with the with when how do you say con la que with which ah with with which uh, he he gets satisfied for resolving the, that problem so. And say sorry again and again. <laughs> that, that is yeah, the step. Give me a minute. You said that is the solution, right? Yes. Okay, these are the steps. These are the steps to resolve our problem. And um, Jocelyn and Fernando, you said we chose. We chose. Okay. Right? We choose, no, we chose, we chose, we chose, okay. Wait, choose, chose, chosen. Choose, chose, chosen. Choose, chose, chosen. Present, fast, for Zapatos, no? Choose, Oh, look at the chat, look at the chat. Ah, okay. We chose. Ah, okay. Yeah, past. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying, Fernando, choose, chose, sorry, chose, chosen. Present, past, past participle. Okay. okay. Um, we, we say sorry. We apologize. Okay. We apologize to the customer. And okay. With the customer, we apologize with the customer. With which, which is what with you were which? wondering. And repeat. Okay. Again. 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 Again, again, again. Again, again, again. Mm -mm. Again. again and again and again. Again and again and again. Mm -mm. Forget about the I. Again, okay. again. Ah, okay. Again, and again and again and again. Oh. And again and again and again. That's right. Over and over and over again. Yeah, again. Great job. Okay, guys, um, we're missing a few minutes. I want to show you something. May I? 
I want to yeah. teach you something that might help you in life, in your job, at your job, whatever. Okay, it's something very useful that I learned when I was a manager. We used to get these speeches, you know, about the best way to work around things. Oh, this letter. Well, anyways, can you see? Yeah. Uh, let me put it in red, yeah. not in black. Okay. So it's called the problem solving technique. It's a technique to solve any problem in life, when you're a manager, when you're a boss, even as a, an employee. Nunca te acerques a tu jefe con problemas. Acércate con soluciones de una sola vez. Y te va a ascender así. Mire, jefe, fíjese que estoy pensando que yeah. estoy cometiendo muchos errores y realmente esto es lo que me ha pasado. Mire, estoy cometiendo este problema, no estoy escribiendo bien esto. Y, eh, lo que he pensado hacer es esto y esto. ¿Qué le parece? En lugar de decirle, hey, mire, ya la riego yo, va. Me debería despedir. <laughs> no, give me my solution. Okay, esa no es la solución. Okay, you got the idea. So, problem solving. Number one, define the problem. Hey, there's just one problem. Okay, for example, and let me do this with an example. My problem is, is my problem that I, that I eat too much? Is my problem that I don't feel okay with this big belly? Is that my problem? No, my problem is that I am fat. That's it. One problem. Belly. One problem. I'm fat. Okay, that's my problem. I'm fat. Causes. There are many causes. Okay, I don't do exercise. Um, I have a problem with sedentarism. Sedentarism, I'm always sitting. All day I'm sitting. Um, what else? I smoke. I drink beers, too many beers. I eat too much grease. It's not so joy, but just giving you an example. Um, I eat too many pupusas, greasy things. Okay, many causes for the one problem. Possible solutions. Okay, it's the opposite than the problems, the, the problem causes. Okay, I am possible solutions. Start the gym, start a diet to get underweight, um, stop eating grease, stop smoking and stop drinking. Okay, think about saving money, that works, okay. So which of these options works for me? Which of these options I can commit in reality? Which of these options I can get disciplined with, for example? So I'm gonna say, get on a diet. Being realistic, I'm too fat. If I go to the gym, I won't suck it up. Okay, I'll go to the gym. No, 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 I'm too fat. Okay, get underweight with a diet. Get a diet. Drink more water. Drink more water. Get a diet. Okay, water. <laughs> water. Okay, that's my decision. I took the decision, and it's difficult. It's difficult because you start, I'm going to go on a diet. I'm going to go to the gym. That's it. I'm going to get feet. I'm going to stop smoking. You do nothing. Okay. No, just one thing. Okay. A diet. Fifth step, take massive action. Take massive action. Do it. Focus every day. Okay. Commit. I have a commitment with my family, with myself. I'm too fat. I don't like to smoke. I don't like to drink. I don't like to eat grease. No, 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 no. Discipline. Okay. Organize. You know, I have one hour between 12 and 1 p.m. to get underweight. So I'm going to go in that time and schedule every day what I have to do. Remind myself. Okay. And organizing means creating smart goals. Do you know what is a smart goal? This is a trend right now. What is a smart goal? Metas. Yeah, metas it's smart. A smart. Tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Smart it's goals. Specific, measurable, uh -huh. and realistic. And realistic, specific. What do I want to do? Okay. What do I want to do? Get underweight. Mm. 
Is that a specific? Get underweight? Adelgazar? Mm, no, right? No. Okay, so you're very specific and you say, um, I, Rafael Rodriguez, uh, weight, I weight 170 pounds by December 15th, 2021. Very specific, time, time bound. It's very important. Measurable, can you measure your weight? Yes. Achievable, I'm weight. I'm weighing right now 210 in, in 10 pounds, 210 pounds by December. Yes, in four months, can you get underweight 40 pounds? 40 pounds in four months? Yeah, that's right. That's achievable. And it's realistic. Okay, I'm just gonna close my mouth and say no to the food. No, okay. Got it? Yeah. What about yeah. cheat? Achievable, yeah, it is achievable. You can reach it. You can what reach that goal. What is achievable? You can reach, reach that goal. Alcanzar. Realistic. Realistic. Realistic with your feet in the ground. Feet on the ground. Okay. Another example. Specific. I want a car. Mm. Okay. No. I want a red Ferrari 2021. Is that realistic? Oh no. Yeah. Nah. Okay. I want a red. I want a red Toyota from 2005. Red Toyota from 2005. Picture it. Picture it. Visualize it. Okay. Measurable. I have to save a hundred dollars every month. A hundred dollars every month. I'm gonna save a hundred dollars. That's realistic too, and it's achievable. So mix these four concepts on your goal by when time bound is important. Hey, it's missing time bound, realistic and time bound. Yeah, that was that was my question. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, time bound. Yeah, time bound. Atado al tiempo. So always put a deadline, a deadline that's very important. By when? Si no me pones fecha tus sueños, nunca lo vas a alcanzar, okay? Let me do the attendance. It's really late already. I'll send you this to your WhatsApp right now. Keep an eye on it. Que es solo que le sirva para sus clases también, chicos. Um, si tú aplicas esto en el trabajo, en tu vida, te va a ir muy bien. Por experiencia, okay? Let's go. Oh, today, por cierto, se queda conmigo Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez, 10 minutos, please. Miriam is around. No, she didn't come today, right? Bueno, me dejan saber si alguien se puede quedar 10 minutos, it's okay. It's the chair. Excellent. Okay. Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania, Cabrera Serrano, Carlos Armando Duarte, Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Gracias, teacher. Teacher, lo siento mucho por lo de ayer, se me desconectó el teléfono, se me apagó. No <laughs> worry. Que... Está bien, Claudia. Edwin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Uh, Present. Thank you. Fátima y Fegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Thank you. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present and good night. Good night. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Reina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present and good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Aquí. Jocelyn Melda Rivas Abarca. Present, good night. Good night. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. 
Good night. Good night, Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia, José Ángel Martínez Hernández, Juan Marcos Guzmán. Okay. Good. Who said me? José Antonio, right? Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. No habíamos tenido la oportunidad de tener una sesión no, aún, ¿verdad? No, teacher, la vez pasada. José, José Antonio no. Cubías, de hecho le tocaba el lunes 16 de agosto, le toca otra vez el lunes 16 de agosto. Oh my God, ok. Ey, no había aterrizado que vamos a tener ese break del viernes 30 de julio y luego volvemos el lunes 9. Wow. Sí, por la semana de, de, de Agostina. Bueno. Sí, ¿verdad? Bueno, <ríe> está bien. Ok, José Antonio, ¿cómo estamos? Dígame, eh, yo siempre empiezo estas sesiones con dos preguntas. La primera, eh, quiero que me cuente de usted cómo ha sido su experiencia en cuanto al inglés, si ha estado en otras academias, si había empezado, eh, y por qué esta inquietud ¿no? de aprender inglés. Y la segunda pregunta... Eh, ¿Qué estoy haciendo para practicar? Aparte de la clase, ¿no? ¿Qué otra cosa hago? Me lo había puesto yo como manera de disciplina de hacer aparte de recibir la clase. Vaya, ok. Vaya, fíjese que eh, yo siempre me he preguntado porque eh, yo desde primero a, a noveno grado, el, o sea, nunca recibí inglés en la escuela, no, nunca, en la escuela nos enseñó una profesora, pero solo palabritas así y, y nada de, de, de profundizar ni nada ella ni, ni no no, te, no, no no era capacitada en el área de inglés ¿vale? llegué a bachillerato y igual así poquito a po solo poquito no 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 nos enseñaron mucho eh, entrar a la universidad y en la universidad no recibí inglés eh, los ocho años que pasé estudiando en la universidad nunca recibí inglés de allí me, me inscribí en, en un curso de, 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 de ese de, de, ¿cómo se llama? Se llama de Océano Idiomas. Ah, ya, ya. Ajá. Fui, fui como, como un mes, me salí porque me, ¿cómo se llama? Me tocó, un, tocó con una teacher que, que cuando uno hablaba, ella tenía un, su, un, su, su, un su foro en, en internet donde los tenía agregados a todos. Y ella hablaba y, y, se, y una vez estaba hablando con otro y se burló de mí. Por, por, por. Ajá. Entonces me desmotivó. Ya no, ya no seguí. Ya no seguí, pues. Estoy hablando de hace bastante tiempo. Hace como unos 5 o 6 años. De ahí para acá. Eso fue en el 2014, si no me equivoco. Por ahí. Sí, hoy en día esos libros. <ríe> Tenían un programa. El, el programa, el, uh, el software que vendían ellos era bueno. En, en, en la, en la, pero hecho, lo... en las clases no. Uh -huh. sí, de hecho, lo tengo. Y a veces me pongo a Es la vida de mi vida. Y hasta ahorita me la Mueva, el... <ríe> Mueva un poquito el, el micrófono. Ahí, ok. ¿Me oye? ¿Sí? Está lloviendo por ahí. Ah, ok. Sí, sí. Uh, mire, ese programa es buenísimo. Es buenísimo. Sí, porque tiene como una referencia de cómo hablarlo, ¿no? Eso, eso es algo bueno. En realidad, y si lo hace, o qué está haciendo aparte de la clase, José Antonio, para, para mejorar. Yo tengo tres o tres maneras. Tengo uno, que veo videos en YouTube, que voy a hacer. Tengo uno donde estoy con la aplicación de Duolingo, donde voy aprendiendo todo lo que he hablado. Y la clase. Ok, bien. Eh, yo le voy a sugerir dos cosas. Uno, no se sature. Para empezar, no se sature de cosas. Ah, hoy en día, mmm, imagino que usted tendrá más o menos mi edad, igual 30 y algo. Eh, 
Hoy en día hay mucho, mucho recurso en internet, hay muchísimas cosas, aplicaciones, diccionarios, eh, videos en YouTube, en miles de lugares. Hay teachers dando clases gratuitas en TikTok. Hay miles de recursos, pero uno quiere hacer de todo al mismo tiempo. Y creo que lo mejor es pensar qué me funciona más, ¿no? Lo que yo recomiendo es una dieta balanceada. <risa> Una dieta de verbos y palabras, porque lo que se necesita para empezar es tener en contexto eh, los verbos. Yo no puedo forzar a mi cerebro que se memorice cinco verbos todos los días, les decía un día de estos. Así que hago entonces, ah, pues agarro un verbo y una palabra, agarro cinco verbos, cinco palabras todos los días, todos los días, y empiezo a mezclar, porque como ya estoy en intermedio uno, yo ya puedo decir, ah, bueno, el lunes voy a agarrar el presente simple y voy a empezar a hacer su verbo con su significado en colores, colores llamativos, ¿ok? En la palabra relacionada al verbo, colores llamativos, y empiezo a hacer positivo, negativo, pregunta. ¿Ok? Ya va un verbo y una palabra, chivo. Oraciones positivas, negativas, preguntas. ¿Puedo agregar la WH? Claro que sí, agrego una WH si quiere. Segunda palabra, segundo verbo, ¿ok? Y ahí voy, positivo, negativo, pregunta, cambio el sujeto, ¿ok? Tercera palabra, tercer verbo, ¿ok? Positivo, negativo, pregunta, hago esto cinco veces, ya tengo una tarea de un día. El lunes voy a hacer presente simple, el martes voy a hacer pasado simple, el miércoles presente continuo. Los tiempos que yo ya me sé, ¿ok? Los puedo practicar. Los que yo creo que tengo mayor dificultad, ok, eso los practico más. Ok, esa es una recomendación. Eh, ok, una dieta, cinco palabras. ¿Por qué cinco? Porque le aseguro que si usted agarra esto de dieta todos los días sin perderle el hilo, todos los días se va a estar memorizando inconscientemente por lo menos dos verbos, dos palabras, dos verbos, una palabra. Ey, pero no es poquito eso. No. De no hacer nada todos los días, efectivo, no efectivo, digamos, eh, aprenderme dos verbos y dos palabras todos los días, y ya es un avance. Se lo dice alguien que aprendió desde los siete años con un diccionario. Funciona. Segunda recomendación. Como lo que me está costando es hablarlo, o lo que creo que me cuesta, que todo el mundo dice me cuesta hablarlo, pues si usted se sigue repitiendo que algo le cuesta, así será. Ok, yo me vivo repitiendo que soy panzón. Ah, siempre voy a ser panzón. <ríe> me he convencido de que eso es así y nadie me saca de, ese, de esa idea. Los adultos somos así, creamos paradigmas. Ya segunda idea que les estoy dando a todos. Ok, ahí hay un índice en el chat de acá de Zoom. Hay un índice de audios, audios con su texto. Yo puedo, sin discriminar, José, agarro un audio, descargo el texto o lo copio, así, si lo puedo escribir a mano, mucho que mejor, el escribir a mano pasa muchas cosas y el cerebro, eh, le ayudamos al cerebro. Entonces lo escribo un audio por semana, ¿eh? un audio por semana. Paso número uno, escucho el primer día, y voy leyendo sin abrir la boca. ¿Por qué? Porque mi cerebro va a querer leer. Mi cerebro se va a vivir dando duro. Y se ha vivido dando duro todo este tiempo que ya fui, José, a, a cursos. Fui ahí a Océano. Y quería leer mi cerebro. Las letras que ya conoce, las quiere leer como las aprendió, ¿no? Sí, en lugar de decir surprise, dice surprise. ¿Sí me explico? Entonces, primer día, leo en lo que escucho el audio, le doy play cuantas veces quiera todo el día segundo día empiezo a querer hablar y así voy todos los días queriendo hablar entonando igual que los audios y por eso son chivos esos audios pero son dos personas hablando de una manera bien natural habrá cualquier audio, no discrimine la regla de oro es no traducir prohibido traducir al español el español ya lo sé entonces hasta el último día José yo voy a traducir el último día, al final del día, vamos a ver qué dice esta lectura. Muy probablemente muchas palabras ya las conozca de los audios. ¿okay? Muchas. Y otras no. 
y esto le va a ayudar muchísimo, muchísimo. Tome nota. Hey, aquí dice sleep out. Sleep out. ¿Por qué dice sleep out? ¿Qué querrá decir? Ah, lo voy a tomar nota. Ahorita lo practico, practico. Y al final yo lo voy a traducir y voy a saber qué dice. ¿Ok? Bien. Voy a mejorar la pronunciación. Voy a adquirir más vocabulario. Eso ayuda muchísimo. ¿Ok? Bien. Bien. Y si de plano quiere aprender... O sea, ¿y que necesita ayuda? Mm, mándeme un audio la semana. Tranquilo. Un audio de no más de 30 segundos contestando usted, usted mismo una pregunta. Por ejemplo, what do you do every day? Oh, every day I wake up early. I go to work. I work pretty far from home. I work at, a, at this company. Lo contesta 30 segundos. Me lo envía. Yo le escucho y le doy el feedback. Le grabo el audio, ok, repitamos de nuevo. ¿Ya? ¿Ya? Ah, una cosa más. Lo más importante de estos ejercicios, de este ejercicio de los audios y el de la, la, el audio de, con el texto ahí, es que después de, de la semana de estar practicando, lo más importante no es traducir, sino que grabarse en su celular. Ojo, me grabo cuando ya, ya hayas eh, practicado varias veces. Yo me grabo en el celular, tal cual la lectura, y mire José, le doy play al celular y a la lectura, ¿ok? Y tengo un parámetro, la lectura de la página web, el celular, y empiezo a tomar notas. Uy, como dije esa palabra. Ey, qué chivo dije esa. Bien. Esa otra no la dije bien, y voy subrayando. Me estoy autocriticando, y si usted logra la autocorrección, ya está hecho. ¿Me explico? Ok. Good. Cualquier cosa ahí está en el chat. Just text me. I'm here to help you. Ok. Great, sir. Thank you. Good night.